Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be washing up some G3 ghoulies. A Claudine would be part of this video, but she is getting her own special video because a lot of people want to know how to deal with Polly firsthand. And I want to just give her her own moment to shine. Now, Cleo does have polypropylene hair, but it's not as bad as Claudine. So next Friday, you'll see Claudine's hair video. I might reroute her. We'll see. So Cleo has polypropylene hair. I can officially say it. It's quite dry. Fuck my drag. You can actually see it is because it isn't as shiny as a ran hair. Now, if Cleo's hair does not behave, I will be rerouting her. I do have the exact shades in Saran, so yeah. Everybody's favorite they them, Frankie Stein. Frankie actually has very soft hair right now, and it doesn't even feel like I need to wash it at all, but I do want to do it in this video to show you what I do. But I'm also going to be doing two other things to them. I'm going to be spraying down their body with Mr. Super Clear to seal in all of their stitches, and I'm also going to be chroming up their prosthetic leg because I want it to look very robotic. Only the best for my favorite. As for Draculaura, I'm just going to boil wash and do all that jazz. She does have saran hair, so it should be pretty easy. The same goes for Ghoulia Yelps. And lastly is Laguna Blue. She also has saran hair. Nasty, and it looks like a rat's nest, pretty much. <laughs> just like Frankie, I'm also going to be spraying down Laguna's legs in hopes that that will help the chipping situation that Laguna dolls seem to have. Honestly, if it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah, let's pray it works. So that's today's cast. Let me roll my intro real quickly, and we can get started on washing the G3 ghouls. No. Okay, so now we really have to disrobe all the ghouls because obviously we're not getting their clothes wet. So um, let's do that. So before we start our waterboarding washing mission, we are going to spray these two ghouls down with some Mr. Super Clear. I recommend doing this in an open space. I'm in my garage at the moment, but I'm going to go outside. And I did block their heads with some plastic bags so I don't get their hair and face because we only need the bodies pretty much. So I am going to be using Mr. Super Clear. This is very toxic and could be very harmful to your health. Wear the proper equipment while spraying this and you should be all good. Of course, it was a very windy day. Had to go in the direction that the wind was not going to blow right back in my face. And then I just let them dry outside. Side. Again, yet another weird sight. My neighbors probably think I'm crazy. So as I wait for Laguna and Frankie to dry, we're going to work on the other three ghouls. And Ghoulia is our first victim. Because Mattel stopped using glue, you can use whatever kind of water temperature you want. So I'm using medium to warm water. By the way, I almost forgot materials. We're going to be using this shampoo. I use it on myself, so it's good enough for my dolls. I'm using this conditioner right here. It's lasted me almost all year, and it's really worth the $3. And lastly, I'm using my comb. I like this one because it has a very pointy end, and I can really stab a doll if I need to. So I'm adding a little bit of shampoo to my hand, and I'm just going to lather that into the doll hair we're just trying to get out any product there may be from packaging i don't think gulia had really any packaging product but you never know i'm so happy that in g3 gulia has saran hair i never really liked kaneklon like sure it's nice and fluffy but i don't know i never liked the sound of brushing it so i'm very happy that they switched to saran for her and then after i am done sudsing her up i'm just going to use some warm water you could use hot too but you know i don't want my hands to burn under the sink people already think my hands are pink enough now that her hair is all clean, I'm going to put her aside and we can move on to conditioning afterward. Now it's Draculaura's turn. Now, a lot of people have been telling me that their Draculaura's feel like they have sticky hair and that goes for even the G1 releases. I did kind of feel what they were talking about and I'm not sure if it's product or if it's just the saran that they use for her. Now, I haven't washed my cheerleader Draculaura or my Gorganizer slash budget dolls. I'm not sure if they all have the same kind of hair issues. So I'll let you know once we do those dolls. Let me know in the comments down below what you've done to tackle the situation because I'm just washing her like normal and like I said before there's no more glue in these dolls heads so that couldn't be the cause of it the only thing I'm thinking is maybe the product that they use in the bangs kind of gets all over but also my basic Dracula has really thin hair I've noticed and I'm not sure if this is like it for every other doll or I just got a thin one but yeah she has really thin hair now we're moving on to Cleo as I mentioned earlier Cleo has polypropylene hair it isn't the best hair fiber you could use on a doll it's probably the cheapest form of nylon out there so we got to be very very careful with this hair. We don't want it to be matted or feel gross. So in the past, when I've worked with like Barbie extra minis that had polypropylene hair, it just kind of 
didn't take water at all like it felt like it dried in under a minute and like the water didn't do anything to the hair i do still feel like monster high should not be using polypropylene hair i just feel like because these dolls are pretty much on the deluxe side when it comes to doll pricing i just feel like they should have the best quality hair and other things possible so like saran all the way i don't know poly and tinsel just never have matched and i never thought i would ever see them together but you know here we are with cleo now we're moving on to my favorite part which is conditioner and as you guys know i use pretty much a good amount of conditioner on dolls i'm surprised that i've not run out of this bottle yet i'm starting with gulia i'm just doing it in the order that we wash them in i always do it that way i'm starting from the bottom and working my way up but gulia didn't really have a lot of knots so i could just start from the top if we really really wanted to i really do prefer this darker blue shade that they did on g3 gulia i think it looks a lot nicer now don't get me wrong i do love her original hair color too i'm a blue girl at the end of the day but i don't know i just really love this shade of blue it's so nice now dracula probably shed the most out of all the dolls which is kind of funny because again she has the thinnest hair so i don't understand why she shed so much and also i don't know why i was thinking that the colors are going to blend i mean it's not like she has a middle part going all the way down for like ponytails so like i mean if it blends it blends i mean it's kind of just going to happen and i really wanted my dracula to have her hair behind her ears like her promo doll pictures had i think it looks so cute and somehow i managed to keep her bangs looking pretty good as well and since dracula was the only doll to lost hair this is how much she lost now cleo she was a interesting one at first she was doing fine and then all of a sudden all the tinsel started just being ratty and nasty and i was plucking a lot of tinsel out and i don't really count that as hair that's just tinsel <laughs> now poly aside i actually really do love the shades that they chose for g3 cleo's hair now of course i'm gonna miss her dark brown hair but i think the blue suits her very well and i remember being fond of her boo york doll that had a kind of midnight blue hair color so i'm all here for the blue hair i'm not sure about y'all but let me know in the comments what you think about the blue hair over the dark brown so after you're done brushing your doll's hair with the conditioner in you're going to want to rinse it out fully you don't want to leave any residue of conditioner in there or it will be very greasy especially with saran hair it just tends to get more heavier and bulkier as if you leave any kind of like conditioner in it from what i've noticed and it's not a vibe so anyways i want to take this portion of the video to talk about a little giveaway i'm going to be doing over the weekend for draculaura of all dolls <laughs> so my birthday is today the video is being posted on my birthday november 11th and i want to just do a mini giveaway that is going to run from friday to sunday night basically it's going to be international and all you have to do is comment your, your favorite dracula quote from generation one or even generation three or two i mean we don't really talk about generation two but you know why not right and you'll be entered to win your very own g3 dracula doll and like i said it's international so yeah i will be doing like a little raffle and you guys will find out who won on my community tab i'm very excited to see who's going to win Draculaura. For more details, read the description of this video and good luck. We're not going to get to the boil washing stage of these three ghouls and I'm just using my kettle here. And in case this is your first time watching my channel or wondering how to fix your Monster High doll's hair because you got it for Christmas maybe, this is very dangerous. <laughs> and this will actually help smooth out your doll's hair and make it feel nice and silky actually. The premise is basically you're going to just dunk the doll's hair into the boiling water and then you comb it out and it'll become straighter or more wavier depends on the doll's hair texture. I remember when I first found out about boil washing, I kind of messed up my doll because I just did it wrong. So Claudia has never been the same since. After I'm done doing dunks, I do every doll a little boiling water, like waterboard kind of vibe. And it just makes the hair go straighter. That's the only thing that's going to be straight on this channel. So I put Cleo's hair back into its like style, I guess you can say. And I also added in this oil and it did help the hair feel a lot sleeker. And I'm not sure if it adds any value to the hair, but um, I'm being experimental today. So now that Laguna and Frankie are completely dry from their Mr. Super Cooler spray. It's time to open the bags and let them breathe again and also wash their hair. At this point in the video, I thought that the Mr. Super Clear ad helped the legs, but at the end, you'll see what happened. But I'm pretty much going to do the exact same things that I did with the other ghouls that had straight hair to Frankie. They have the softest hair out of this entire bunch, and I didn't even have to brush it outside the box. That says a lot. But honestly, all my Frankie dolls so far have had really, really nice hair. So the other day, I was looking at my Frankie collection, and I kind of was like not used to the green skin anymore. I guess Yes, I've been looking at the G3 dolls a lot more often than my G1 ones and it's just been like kind of like a crazy like oh my god this is the same ghoul but like they're not I don't know it's it's confusing but this Frankie turned out amazing as I expected now with Laguna we have a little more to tackle her hair is a lot more frizzy and it feels a little fried at the end so let me just take down her hairstyle and we can get started 
So I've never understood why Curly Saran is like this when it's been packaged. Over the little time and a lot of boiling water, you can get it into something very sleek and nice. And all you gotta do is just be patient. Now, I feel like I only find Laguna and Gulia dolls when I go out anywhere for Monster High. I'm not sure if those two are doing good in sales or maybe they're not moving in my area. Let me know what you find with Monster High nowadays. I did recently find like the entire gang at Macy's, which was kind of rare. I haven't seen them since the first, but I swear where it feels like I only find those two dolls whenever I go out. So for Laguna, I'm going to be using my little brush here. I guess you could call it a dog brush. It's also for felting, I guess. I put way too much conditioner on this doll, so don't be like me. You're going to waste your conditioner if you do that, but you know, it did kind of help her a little bit. But with a doll like Laguna, you really want to start from the ends and work your way up. You don't want to rip any hair out. Now, I do typically separate the hair and work in sections, and you'll see me eventually do it, but like, don't just go ham at it. You're going to want to do it from all angles and just make sure it's all silky and smooth and of course the boil wash is going to help it feel less bulky and a little more sleek and i almost forgot to brush out her tendrils because they're in the front and you know i just didn't put them with the main ponytail and i also used hot water to even rinse out the conditioner which was kind of like pointless i mean we're gonna boil wash it anyways but you know i guess i was just thinking it was gonna help a little more i don't know now I am going to be boil washing these two right now. So we're going to start with Frankie because they are the easiest. So you're just going to do a dunk and brush. As for Laguna, I had to do three types of boil washes. So I had to reheat the water three times basically is what I am saying. And I also did two extra dunks of the water over her head. You can really see that the boiling water really silks out the hair. It looks a lot nicer than it did prior to this. And after I was done with all that, I put her hair back into the ponytails and put some curlers in. And Frankie obviously looks good too, but now we have to move on to Frankie's leg. So I really wanted to chrome up Frankie's bionic leg because I thought it would look super cool and it'd be kind of a flashback to the 2016 Comic-Con exclusive, which was Rebecca, and she was kind of all golden chrome herself. So I thought Frankie's leg being chrome would be super cool and a good O to that. So you may be wondering, how are we going to do this, Jay? This pen right here. Well, I guess technically it's a marker. Now, after I was done doing this, I found out that this came in a paint format, which I should have used because you'll see what happened. But a lot of people use this for their model kits. Makes it almost mirror-like, and I thought that'd be super cool. So you have to shake the pen up, and then you can just start drawing on the leg. As you can see, it's already very chrome-like, and it's almost reflective, and it looks so cool. Now, I was able to get the entire foot looking chrome, and that was all I could get out of this one marker. Now, they do sell these refill packs to fill up your markers, but you could use it as paint because it is pretty much just a refill station. And I'm going to link that below, but I'm also going to link this marker down below in case you have some detailed things you want to work on. But I think the paint is better if you're going to be doing this leg like this. Now, one thing you are going to have to give up is Frankie's little sketches on their leg because obviously the paint is going to go right over that. I honestly don't care. One, having a shiny leg is actually really cool and I think it makes him a little unique. But once you are finished, this is what it should look like. It's super chromey and I think it looks really cool. I'm obviously going to to give you guys an update once I get the paint in the mail. But now guys, I'm gonna let all these dolls dry and I'll see you once they're all done. So, BRB. Okay guys, are you ready to see what the G3 basics look like? By the way, let me show you my little G3 display at the moment. So we have the coffin bean, we have the fear squad or whatever, and then we have sleepover. I think this is my favorite shelf though. Ta da I opened Deuce today, I did not review him. I just, I don't think anyone would care if I did. So, you know. He's looking good. So here's Cleo. Their hair is actually really voluminous at the moment. It is quite soft and it doesn't feel as dry as it was before, but the tinsel is really, really annoying me. I actually do think I am going to reroute her because I have the saran colors and I would really like her to have saran. So if I do that, just keep your eyes open. Next we have Gulia and I think her hair turned amazing. Look at that. Oh, it's so soft. Here is Frankie, by the way. Their hair was pretty simple to do. It's just saran and it's straight already. So there's nothing too drastic there. But then we move on to Frankie's leg. As you can see, it's all crumbed out. And it does look pretty good on the top now that I'm looking at it. But it is have a lot of smudges and stuff that I don't really like. But I think I achieved what I was trying to achieve. And it looks really good. I am going to leave Frankie's foot out like this for the entire week that I need to. So I don't get it chipped. I did already do a test on a bare Frankie mannequin body I have. Just to make sure. And it does work pretty well. But honestly, I think this looks so cool. And I want to know your guys' thoughts down below on this. 
yeah, I'm just keeping Frankie's little shoe next to them until then. Now we move on to Draculaura. I think she looks a lot better, not gonna lie. Even her bangs look really nice. So as I said, her hair is over her ears and look how nice and soft it is. Of course, it's parting like the Red Sea, but that's because of her cape. But other than that, it's so soft and it looks so nice. And I actually really love this doll so, so much. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like it over her ears or do you like her hair covering her ears? I think it's cute to show her little ears because I love the ears in a G3s. And last but not least is Laguna. So I did curl her little tendrils and they look actually pretty cute. And this is what her hair looks like after the boil wash. It's a lot silkier and a lot softer. It is a little bulky, but that's kind of expected from Curly Saran. I still am debating if I'm going to curl this or not. Um, I'll have to see if I decide to do that. But at the moment, I just wanted it to be long and kind of wavy. So that's what we got. But yeah, I actually think she looks a lot better now. And I really do love Laguna as a pink girl now. <laughs> now, of course, I have the spare stand right here because Claudine, when she is ready, is going to go right in the middle next to her two besties. And I put all these guys together because like in G1, they were dating and they were besties. And in G3, these two are besties. So it kind of worked out in my favor. But I'm excited for Claudine to join her friends up here. So hopefully they'll be next Friday. But anyways, guys, let me know who's your favorite out of what I've done today. I think mine is probably Jackie Laura, but I really love Frankie's new chrome leg. I think it looks so sick. But anyways, guys, if you want to enter the giveaway to win your own Draculaura basic, she is new in box, by the way. It's not this one. <laughs> Just make sure to read the description down below. You have till Sunday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to enter to win. And again, all you have to do is comment your favorite Draculaura quote from G1 through G3, and you are automatically entered. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay, and I do doll stuff, duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at Zombie Ace Court as well. And guys, I will see you in the next video. But for now, bye.